It's been a while. Again. We're back, though. <laughs> now, last time we played Tomodachi Life was when I made a live episode while I was away on tour. But now I'm back. I'm ready to settle down and play some more. Now, I don't know how many days I'm going to fit into this one episode because... Lots of stuff seems to be happening recently, which has been changing my plans completely. So, to start off, let's see what our Mii's have been up to with the me news. How you been doing, guys? I certainly am. Let's see. Popular celebrity Ross aired her new TV talk show this week. What? Her first guest was Spongebob. <laughs> she quickly got to the heart of all Spongebob's problems in her usual unique style. What? After the show, Spongebob commented that he felt like a whole new person. So Ross is I like Ellen? I so all my lifelong problems were solved in 30 minutes. <laughs> we asked some islanders their opinions. Great. Progress never stops, does it? Definitely doesn't. Am I on TV now? Yes. You kind of messed up your opportunity, though. So apparently, Roz is Ellen now, which is interesting. And, of course, we're going to collect our donations for today. So, oh, I might still be on American time, actually. Let me check. We've got 400, 500, almost 600 pounds. That is awesome. Let me see the time. Yeah, 525 a.m. Whoops, I'm still five hours behind. It's 10 a.m. here. <laughs> I'm gonna have to change that, but it looks like everyone might be awake. Are we good? We're good. Okay, some people are still asleep, but you know what? We can wake them up. It's fine. I didn't realize that would be an issue. I completely forgot. But anyway, I want to add some new villagers today because you guys have been absolutely begging me to add some islanders. So how do we do that? Town hall. Okay, let's go. And I've got three of the top top suggestions from the past few episodes. Let's go for a new me. Actually, QR code, because we're going to do it this way. Now, this first one has been suggested for ages. It's Bendy. How you doing, Bendy? Let's scan this QR code and get you in. Look how awesome that one is. Yes, I do want to send that in. Kind of looks like Freddy Fazbear right now, but let me fill in all of this stuff. Make sure we give them a birthday as well so they can actually do things. There we go. Welcome, Bendy. Confident and a free spirit. Perfect. Okay, so this next one is actually phenomenal and again has been asked, I think, even more than Bendy. It's this guy, the neighbor. Look how funny that me is. <laughs> Let's get him in here. There we go. Come on, scan it. There we go. Look at him. It's perfect. Welcome to the team, neighbor. Look at him. <laughs> He's confident and a leader. Great. So that makes complete sense. Look at him. What is he doing? Who are you coaxing along? Who's over there? And for today, I'm just going to add one more, which again has been requested loads. These are easily the top three. And this one, I've only just found a good me for. It's a pug. Check it out. Now, this is the best pug I can get. So, you're going to have to deal with it for now. We're going to add one pug in. And we're going to start with Ellie. Or should we just call it pug? I think we should just call it pug for now. Oh, no. Where's his ears gone? It looks so weird. So weird. <laughs> we need to get some ears for it. Energetic Charmer. Okay, so we need to get some ears for this guy. We're just going to call it pug because I don't want my, my pugs marrying people. I guess. But hey, let's get the pug into the island. And then we'll have, if we did do Ellie and Darcy and Peggy, we'd have three of the same pugs, which is crazy. Right, we are done adding me. So let's see what is new on Diamond Island. Hey, PB, how's it going? We've got Minestrone. Nice, let's grab some of those. Now, we don't actually have that much money at the minute, so I'm not going to spend loads on food. I think I got a lot of food because I bought it last time. What have we got in the good old hat store? Let's take a look. We've got a shell hair clip. Boring. Now, do we have any kind of ears for our pug? I don't think we do, so we're going to have to wait for a bit. This could work. Hat with ears, just for a little bit. We have cat ears. Will that work for now? <laughs> So we have two options. We have the cat ears or we can go for the hat with ears. This one. I'm kind of more tempted to go for this one because it just might look better. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go for this. If it doesn't work, then we can change to the cat ears if we don't like it. Terrible hats today, though. Please let clothing be amazing. Oh, we've got loads of new stuff. We've got a camouflage jacket. Very nice. We've got a loose fit dress. Also very nice. Sleeveless shirt. Very cool, very punk. We've got a tweed dress and a wrap dress. Okay, that wasn't too great, to be honest. We did get all the colors of this, though, which is amazing. Right, sorry. No, that's terrible. Apartments, could you be better? That might be nicer. Come on, we've got a hobby. We got a horror. 
Ring and Tropical Beach, which is this month only. So it's literally the 2nd of August while I'm recording this. It's going to go out on YouTube a, a few days later. But we'll have this for the whole of August, which is awesome. Because before, I think it was the wedding one, which we did actually purchase. So we need to save up some money. And I think we already had these available. So that's not too bad. Terrible new stuff today. Right, let's go to the apartments and see what's going down. Let's see who's actually awake. Gemma's here with Brock. How you doing? And you know what? Lots of people are actually still awake. Now we've got the pug who's just chilling here. We've got the neighbor who's... <laughs> He's got to be one of my favorite me's. He's hilarious. And then Bendy. Bendy's actually pretty cool as well. I like it. So, I'm going to quickly give the hat to our little pug. Hat with ears because you're lacking ears right now. And the color is similar to what you're wearing at the minute. <laughs> it just looks like... I don't even know. It looks like a gnome with a mustache. Oh, our pug looks very strange. You know what? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter at all. Oh. You want to play already? Okay, fine. Oh, no me. Facts. I always get these wrong. Smiley and me are both really hungry. Uh, yeah, I think that's true. I think that's true. Mm. Yeah, I have to go and visit Smiley and give us some food. I'm sorry, Smiley. I didn't mean it. Rock and Freddy, both hungers. Uh, I think that's true as well. Mm. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Right, third and final one is usually the hardest. So let's see what it is. Gaston Homer S, our neighbors. Ah! Um, I'm gonna go false. The correct answer is... Well... Mm. No, they were all true. You rused me. You absolutely ruse me, Pug. I'm not happy with you. How a cheeseburger, sir. He likes it. Okay, good. Top of his likes. We also need to see if he's got an apartment I can give him. What apartments do we have? We have ourselves Arabian. Okay, that's nice. He's got a camel in the background. Elegant is also very nice as well. Kitchen and locker room. That's so random. I think the neighbor will suit the locker room just because it's the same kind of colors as his house in the game. I think that'll suit very well. Oh, the kitchen. Oh, the kitchen's better because it looks like his kitchen. Let's go and give him that. I don't think we got one for you yet, buddy. I'm sorry. Oh, you're born to rule the whole world. Okay, that's that's great. My name's Neighbor and I care about putting plants into action. Okay, great. Have yourself a kitchen because something we don't do or I don't do when we introduce new me's is actually look after them. So there we go. He's got himself a kitchen. Let's take a look around and see if it's, it's quite accurate. We've got um, loads of pots and pans and stuff. Is there a... There's a fridge. Okay, so we can cool off the crowbar. We've got a weird little chalkboard for some reason, and... Oh, that's a cool drawing. Did you draw it yourself? I think he did. Right, that's awesome. I like it. Wow, okay, I'm not that hungry. I've just eaten. Thanks, though. Bye! Bendy, I think we actually do have some kind of apartment for you. I think we can go for the... Oh, what was it called? Haunted or Spooky? Arabian, Elegant, or Locker. Oh, I don't have any of them. Um, I think out of all of these, Arabian would suit him, but... I don't think so. Let's just give him some food and back out. Oh, man, look, we've only got like seven. After this, we'll have six dishes. That's bad. Okay, so we need to keep on the eye out for apartments for Bendy and also the pug as well. It doesn't even look like a pug. Right, we've got quite a few problems to solve, but it is still early. Now, in the previous video, warning, spoilers coming up. I did actually fail a proposal, and I'm pretty sure it was between Spider-Man and whoever he is with. I've completely forgotten. Oh wait, he's angry. He's angry. Let me see what his problem is. <laughs> oh, it wasn't Spider-Man. That's weird. Who was it? Anyway, he's hungry. Let's give him some bacalao to keep him quiet. It was Voldemort and Taylor who did the whole proposal. Voldemort's gone to Mr. Incredible's apartment and Taylor is in, but she's sleeping soundly because it's just before 6 p.m. AM, which is nuts. So it turns out we might get more than one day in this episode because everyone's asleep. And I need to change the time of my DS <laughs> and then leave it a day so that everything refreshes. Otherwise, we'll have a situation like last time, which was bad. I got a letter from someone to meet them on the roof. Oh, here we go. I don't know who wrote it. Should I go? Definitely should go. See who it is. It's so mysterious. Isn't it? Very. We've had this happen before and it was someone in the disguise, but let's take a look and see what's going down. Who was it? It's Spongebob, but shh, don't tell anyone. I think it is anyway. What kind of moustache has he got? Oh! <laughs> I'm in love with your neighbor. Please pass it on. Oh. I'm in love with your neighbor. Please pass it on. Spongebob. Mysterious love letter. That's pretty cool. I wonder if it's true or just something they just say out of the blue. Who on earth was that? I've no idea what's going on, but at least I gave it a try. Yeah, that's random. Here, have a baguette. <laughs> he liked it. Cool. And he ate it in one go, which is pretty impressive. So, Spongebob is in love with Grimm's neighbor. His neighbors are, oh, himself and Jack. 
Hmm, I don't think that's quite true, is it? SpongeBob, you have any, some explaining to do? I just need to check your relationships real quick. <laughs> None yet. Okay, um, <laughs> fine. He was, that was definitely some kind of complete mess up on his part. He has no idea what he's talking about. But hey, he liked the chocolate sundae, so he's fine. I'd like some new clothes. Oh, Gas wants some new clothes. What do we have on us already? Oh, that looks amazing. Why don't you do this? Oh, it's too perfect. It's too perfect. He's in a hospital and we can get him to wear a doctor's outfit. Oh, man, look. <laughs> he loves it as well. Oh, he wants to be a doctor when he's older. It's so cute. Bendy, what is this? Is that a receipt? Why are you getting me to catch your receipts? It's so random, <laughs> but I'm glad you're feeling uh, welcomed enough. You're settling in enough to play a game. That's awesome. Thank you for that. That's great. I wonder what it says, what they bought. That'd be cool to read. There you go. A clean day. Now, there's one more thing I want to try. Let's go back to Bendy. There's one thing someone showed me on Twitter that you can do, which I didn't actually realize. It's really cool. So you can kind of not throw your me around, but you can make them do different things. So you can somehow get them on the floor. There we go. Look, she's sitting down. You can spin them round. Can you go down again? There we go. Look. And then you can like spin them round and stuff. It's so weird. Look, I'm just spinning Bendy round to their heart's content. I have um, no idea why this is a thing, but apparently it is. Really weird. But thanks for showing me. <laughs> so guys, that's going to be pretty much it for the first little section of this video. So I'm going to go to the next day, actually change my DS time so they're not all in bed. And um, I'll see you in a second. Hey, we're back. Day two. So, um, I actually had to skip two days in real life because I messed up the time thing. But we're back. We're back on normal time. 10.23 a.m. instead of something ridiculous in the morning. So, all of our me's should be awake. Looks like they are. We got any love hearts in here? No? Fine. Let's start with the donations instead because I need some money. We've got 227 pounds and 90 pence. Not bad. We're over a thousand, but still, that's not great. <laughs> There's also a morning market open as well. Who's selling and what are they selling? They're selling grated carrot. Okay, let's buy one just to make him happy. Me news! What's going down? Grim, tell me the story, buddy. A jury exhibition was held at a fancy shop in Sandstown. Sandstown? Wow! Wearing this Sands jewelry. <laughs> this remarkably beautiful piece was on display and offered plenty of excitement to visitors. That's impressive. We asked some islanders their opinions. Yes, yes, that's amazing. <laughs> Does anybody find this interesting? I don't know. I found it pretty interesting. What I find even more interesting is your hair, Treyoris. It looks phenomenal. So, Sans is his own town somewhere where he's selling giant golden rings of his face. That's that's pretty impressive. Right, let's see what's new in the supermarket. We need some food. We've got some Castella cake. Beautiful. Some pineapple. Not just some pineapple. A massive pineapple. Smoked salmon, spaghetti carbonara, and a toffee apple. Now, we are actually running out of food, which makes our money situation even worse right now. But I'm stocked up a little bit. I've got just under a thousand pounds left, which you should be able to make up by treating our island as well. But I want to see what I can buy from the store first so I don't spend too much money what we got headbands okay that's a weird looking headband a hunting cap okay that looks pretty that looks pretty nice I like it all the different colors as well the pink one is nice look at that thing and oh look we can get different skull hair clips the pink one of that is nice too but a poor show from the headbands today right have we got any good clothes I want some new costumes we haven't had costumes in ages we've got a ballerina outfit I like it with a Chinese print t-shirt very nice diamond waistcoat okay and a few other things too look at that suit oh my goodness the white suit is beautiful. If anyone needs new clothes today, I'm going to be sending them off in a white suit. It's going to be great. Come on. The interiors need to make up for this. We've got ourselves Tropical Beach, which we can now afford, but we can spend the whole month saving up for that. We've got Rain, which we've already used for Dan TDM. Roman and Sky. Oh, man, that's nice. It's really nice, actually. It's 450 pounds. We've got the Roman one as well. I like that, too. Let's see how our Mies are doing first, and then we might be able to buy some of those apartments. I think we should go to the house first and see what is going down. Oh, something's happening. Hello, guys. How's it going? Do I call them? Homer S or Misty? Homer S has something to say. What's going on, buddy? Look at their faces. <laughs> oh, jeez. Okay. I hope you haven't had a fight with Misty. What's going on, buddy? Are you okay? I had a fight with Elsa. Oh. I'm so mad. Okay. We're fine. Let me just sort this out, guys. Jeez. Misty and I sometimes fight about how to raise children. What? 
Well, I started the argument and then he's talking about kids. Okay, that's pretty crazy. I like that. I can give you, uh, let's give you some clotted cream. I mean, <laughs> why not? I'm not sure this is going to taste nice by itself, though. Oh, well, okay, he likes it. He likes it a lot. That's good. So it looks like they're getting on pretty well. They're just having a little chat. I like their outfits. Let's leave them alone. But we need some more marriages in here, guys. Come on. Oh, look, that's so cute. Let's go and see if they want to get married. I need to know. Only just in love. Okay, they don't want to get married just yet. There are lots of couples though from the previous day that you've just seen that definitely want to get some kind of oh geez why are there so many fights going on what's going on what are you doing are you fighting too or are you just talking i have no idea what's going on oh is that it i thought you were arguing with ghast jeez hey the neighbor wants to play a game okay right let's do this with our new islander look at his face his face is so funny he's so unimpressed oh me facts no first me fact I, I always fail these. SpongeBob and Dory, let's have bubbles. I think that's true. I'm pretty sure that's true. I gave out bubbles a lot at the beginning of the series. False. No! <laughs> oh, man. I can't believe it. Trust me to get that wrong when it's the neighbor playing the game as well. He looks so creepy. It won't let me sit you down. What are you doing? <laughs> I'm trying to make him sit on the floor. Ah, there we go. Well, we can just like spin around. I think you can make them go even further down as well. There we go. You just spin them around, flip them over. See? Who's in control now, neighbor, huh? Who's in control, buddy? What? What are you doing? Today is so boring. Look, there's literally just one fight going on and that's it. Right, let's let these guys make up and hopefully there's something else that the villagers want to do today. Ah! <laughs> to help him calm down, I gave him a music box. And look, it's him in the music box. <laughs> it's so weird, Sans. Look, here comes the face. There it is. <laughs> okay, they made up. Good. Try to catch a lipstick. Here we go. Come on, Toriel. Drop it fairly. No! <laughs> okay, I'll get it this time. I'll get it this time. Don't you worry. Yeah, grab the lipstick. It's so weird. I get to keep it now, though, I guess. There it is. New. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> I'll use it wisely. Uh, Freddy, there's a, there's a blue feather on your face. Let me just... <laughs> Let me just grab that for you. <laughs> of course I can. Let me just grab it. There we go. There's my fingers coming in to grab the blue feather. Were you having a fight with a peacock or a blue bird or something? Did you eat one? He ate a blue bird, didn't he? Oh, that's so cute. So cute. Do they still want to get married? Because I messed it up last time and I can't believe I did. They do still want to get married. But um, do they have a travel ticket or something they can use to go and make that even better? They, they don't. No, I wish I could buy them. Actually, what happens if I just make him happier? So if I give him like a full stomach, I entertain him for a little bit. I wonder if he'll just be more inclined to get the engagement interaction again. He's thinking about rabbits. That's a little bit weird. Can you think about engagement instead, please, buddy? Please, I'll rub your head for you. There you go. <laughs> Look at him. Properly chilled out now. Right, we need to find Taylor. They're oh, they're both doing the same thing. Let's see if she wants to get married too. She does. Okay, let's fill up her stomach as well. Let's give her this. And let's see if that kind of triggers them to go on a date again because... It was hard last time. Okay, that should put them both in a better mood. So let's back out. Let's leave it for a bit and let's see if... Oh, look at this. Taylor and Spider-Man are running together. I just gave her a treadmill and apparently she's putting it to good use. I like it. I want something to wear on my head. Oh, okay. You want to get married too. Okay, that's good. We need to make you um, happy. I think the boater hat might actually suit you quite well. And it'll look good in a wedding photo as well. So let's give you this. It's not a very nice color, but it kind of matches what you're wearing right now. There we go. You liked it a little bit. Okay, I thought you'd like it more than that. But hey, she wants to get married, so let's keep her happy. This is probably the weirdest outfit so far, Anna. <laughs> I'd like a new hat. Oh, uh, no, a new hat? Um... What could what could match your banana outfit apart from I really don't know a top hat might look quite good Let's give her this and hopefully she keeps the rest of her banana outfit on She'll kind of look like a magician which would be pretty cool. There we go. Oh You don't like it. You didn't even specify what you wanted. Oh man. I'm so upset. Ugh, that is not a pug That is not a pug. It's the best I can get though guys. There's really not that many pug me's out there at all This is the best of the best but look at it. It's so weird <laughs> That's definitely a pepper. Hey, there we go. What's our next thing? Oh, I actually don't know I'm gonna go for cooked aubergine. It's definitely not binoculars huh? Yes, okay. That looks a little bit weird. What's the final thing? All right? What could this be a tin robot toy olives or microchip? I think it's gonna be a robot toy 
Definitely. The red kind of gives it away. Yes! <laughs> it might not be a pug, but he still allowed me to win a game. Which my other villagers don't really do. They make it nice and hard for me. Thank you, pug. Thank you. What are you going to give me? I'm going to go big. Oh, yes! And there's... Oh, that's amazing. That's one of the best gifts I've gotten so far. Thanks, buddy. I have to have all the latest things. Okay, that's probably why you gave me a Nez. Right, let's give him some food. I'm going to give him some salmon because I think he'd like that. And we also need to give them an apartment as well. They liked it. Okay, is that going to go on the likes? Certainly is. Straight up to number one, straight up to level two. I like it. I'm going to give you a football as well because you're a dog. You like footballs. So what kind of apartment would they like? Let's see what we've got already. We've got Arabian, Elegant, and Locker. I think we can buy one today and see if they like it. I can't remember what the new ones were. We had Roman or Sky. Sky is a pretty nice one, and I think it's going to match the color of the pug too. Even though it's not really a pug. It <laughs> it's close. Pug has gone to, gone to the park. Of course they have. Are they going to play football? They are. Look. That's so funny. Oh, look at the little one. I'm going to take a picture of that. <laughs> They're pretty good. They only just got the football as well. That's impressive. I need you to come back, though. I need to give you your apartment because you can play football or soccer, whatever you call it, in an amazing new apartment. Here we go. Enjoy your brand new apartment. It's got a tree. It's got chairs. It's got a lamppost. It's looking beautiful. I'm glad you like it, too. Let's have a little bit of a tour, shall we? And let's see. So you've got, um, you've got a tea set as well, just in case you get peckish. You've got a big tree. And then there... Oh, hello. And the rest is pretty much just open sky and a sunset. Beautiful. What's going on in your brain, buddy? You're thinking about music. Okay, I like that. I like that a lot. And now he can just sit in his beautiful little apartment, just kind of chilling. Even though he's not really a pug. I'd like some new clothes. Oh! Why do you want new clothes? We don't have any costumes left. We have a Bavarian outfit. We have a uniform, a sweater, and a Sunday outfit. You're not going to like that. You know what? I'm going to give it to her anyway and see what happens. She will want to get married soon, so hopefully she'll like it. <laughs> She actually does. I thought she'd hate it. Okay, she likes it a little bit. That's good. And she's completely in love. Okay, they've gone down a little bit. So they're not actually going to get married soon. We've got plenty of other couples that want to. She's hoping to go on holiday as well. I don't have any travel tickets. No one will give me one. Shh. Minion's having a dream. What's it going to be? Oh, what is this? Have we had this one before? I think we have. Doesn't someone pop up from behind? Oh, it's me! Ah! <laughs> oh my goodness, that's amazing. Oh, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's probably gonna wake him up. Oh Security camera. That's cool. Does that go into treasures? I have no idea So minion just gave me some hair color spray for giving him a food that he likes and that reminds me Where is he? Where is he Voldemort? I need you to come over to your apartment because someone pointed this out in the previous video So we gave Voldemort a hair color spray because he wanted different color hair but obviously, he's bald, so I was like, oh, it didn't do anything, but, um, look closely. What do you notice is different? His nose and his chin have gone pink. That's the color that we sprayed it. <laughs> he's literally changed pink. That's weird. I'd like to have a disposable camera. Oh, would you? Well, lucky for you, I think I've got a few. I've got eight. Okay, here's your disposable camera. Take some good pictures, buddy. I want you to take an Islander's photo. Of course, who are you going to take a picture of? I'm going to guess it's going to be Gemma. Go get snapping, buddy. Snap, snap. Oh, what's he taking? What's he taking? Who is it of? Let's have a look. Hey, that's awesome. But hold on a second. Has Dan CDM got changed? I didn't put him in that outfit. That looks like some kind of mixtape album cover. That's amazing. That's the new boy band. <laughs> Incredible. Spider-Man, SpongeBob, and Dan TDM. We need to get them to do a song. Let's get them to do a song. Definitely. Okay, they're going to drop a mixtape. It's going to be fire. Your whole computer's going to melt from the inside out when you hear it. It's going to be great. It's called My Treasure. <laughs> 10 out of 10, buddy. Yeah, I knew I had an eye for it. You certainly do. Good job. So here's my dilemma right now. He has a lot of friends, but he's not going to be able to get a girlfriend or get married because he is in the kid age. I'm pretty sure because we gave him a kid o -matic. I think we should give him a um, an age matic so that he gets up to the proper age. For kids who want to be grown-ups and do things like get married. But we've got some more important things to do now. We're at the concert hall, guys. Sing as a group. I want to make or edit a group. Here we go. <laughs> Let's do this. It's gonna be uh, Dan TDM, wherever he is. Why can't I select the singers? Because they don't have a song? 
Is that why? How do I need to get a song? I need them all to have a song and all of them to have the same kind of tune as well. Oh no! We have Hamster Rap, who's an artist from before, but I need to go and make the others level up so they have a tune. You did change! I thought you did, you little punk. I didn't tell you to change out your robot outfit, but you know what? You know, he looks fine. Oh, he's ages off of level 10. He still wants to get married as well. Come on, Dan TDM. Sort it out. Yes! <laughs> Oh, oh, there's a bug on you. There's definitely a bug on you. Um, yes, there's something on your face. Let me just tap it. Just get it off. Don't move, little bug. <laughs> there we go. I've been picking things off people's faces for the whole episode. Even after I rub his head, he's not going to level up. Nope, it almost did. But um, he's like one of the highest leveled of the group. So I need to work on that. I'll probably be able to do that for next time, which means I'm going to completely revert what I said before. And I'm going to grab a Traorus wherever he is. Well, there he kind of is. And we're going to spray him with the age o -matic because he does look funny small. But I think we're going to have to make him tall so we can actually get a love interest and get more chance of people to be able to get married. So let's give him the age o -matic. Spray it on yourself, Please buddy. Into a I'm going to. Don't worry. Here we go. It's happening. Let's see. Let's give it a try. <laughs> oh. Oh, is it gonna happen? Hey, there we go. He looks weird now. He looks really weird. I'm back to normal. You are back to normal. You look fantastic, buddy. <laughs> Now go get married. Traoris leveled up, but he, he's not in that rap group. So I'm going to give him a song anyway. I'm going to give him a heavy metal song. <laughs> I'm also going to give you a custard slice. And then Traoris is going to play us out with his new heavy metal song because we can't get the dream rap group together to make their fire mixtape. But hey, it's fine. We're going back to the concert hall, guys. And we're going to see a solo performance from Dr. Traoris with his heavy metal song. Here we go, Eternal Darkness. I'm just gonna make him sing it and see what happens. I'm not gonna alter the words at all. Here we go. Bendy's in, oh my goodness. Bendy's in it as well. Doesn't make it stop button. <laughs> yes. Whoa. <laughs> Amazing. Loved it. I love Misty's outfit as well. She has turned up for the occasion. Beautiful. Trust that was uh that was something else. That was crazy. So guys, there's just a few minor problems left to solve. So I'm going to do those off camera because we've done a lot today. Um, we've introduced three new villagers, which was cool. We've got Bendy right here. We've got the neighbor who is actually pretty happy. Nothing like himself, really. And we've got the pug who has apparently gone to the cafe. So let's see what they're doing. Where are they, Pug? Oh, there you are. Why are you being creepy for? What's wrong with you? But yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Tomodachi Live. I'm sorry that there wasn't any more marriages or love hearts. I'm working on it. I'm trying my best. But it's just kind of random. So um, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a big fat like on it. That would be greatly appreciated. And if it happens to be the first video seen by me, please do consider joining the greatest team on YouTube, Team TDM Today, for daily videos. Apart from that, guys, thank you so much again for watching. You are awesome. And I'll see you next time. Goodbye. <laughs>